Hello viewers, I am Will Keith, and today I am doing something that I don't really want to do, but it is happening anyway. The thing is, I gotta buy some personal stuff, obviously I can't use Patreon funds for that, so I am actually going to be setting off a few of my blades. Now, some of these are in perfect condition, some of them are complete messes. If you want to buy any of them, it's obviously completely up to you, but I'm going to give you an honest explanation of what each of them is, so you know what you're getting yourself into. I'm going to start off first with a couple of the best ones that I got here. This is a replica of Tensa Zengetsu from the anime Bleach. Now, I know a lot of you, you hear anime replicas, you think it's automatically shit. This isn't. It's Fortang, 1045 high carbon steel blade, fully sharpened. It's uh, pretty much in perfect condition. The sheath has a little bit of cosmetic damage, and up by the tip, there's some tiny little chips. But it cuts like... Good as new, basically. You've seen me use it in videos before. You know it's perfectly functional. And it looks really great. It's, um... You know, it is a great display piece, but if you want to cut something with it, it will. You got the uh, chain down here. The hilt is just about perfect. So other than some uh, minor cosmetic damage, fully functional blade. And I'm going to be selling this for uh, $30. It was, I think... 65 new, so a little bit less than half of that. Sounds fair. And moving on to... This is the Musha Red Damascus Katana. Now, this thing is absolutely crazy looking. Let me uh, step in close here. I hope that you'll be able to see the pattern. There's not too much light here. I'm going to keep it still so it focuses. Hopefully you can see that. If not, uh, you can find it online just to be able to see the pattern in more detail. But this katana is in absolutely flawless condition. It is good as new. Not a scratch on it. I'm looking at it now. The hilt is completely fine. Blade, completely fine. The uh, sheath, it's got a nice raindrop pattern. That's a really nice sheath. I almost feel worse about losing this than I do the sword. But um, you might be able to see that there. Now this is, uh, I, I really don't want to lose this. This thing is absolutely fucking beautiful. To the point where I might actually be buying a new one in the future. But, um, I'd go ahead and sell this for, uh, 60. It was, I think, 110. 110, yes, new. Well, I didn't actually buy this. This was sent to me by, uh, Peter Lee. Guy who works with, uh, Musashi. So 60 bucks, I'd sell that for nothing less. Now, this here is, get out of there, the Cold Steel Katana Machete. Now, I've only used this in one video, but honestly, the, the hilt is kind of messed up. Like, if you have good work gloves on, it will be fine, but you can see the uh, pattern there. That's not rope. That's just solid uh, polypropylene that's not all that comfortable in the hand. So, I mean, if you just want it because you want a sword that I own, it's good enough. And you have uh, some cosmetic damage here from when I was hitting it on the uh, tree. But, I mean, it's, it is functional. If you have good gloves, it'll be fine. But out of all of these, this is probably one of the last ones I'd recommend you buy. Goes back in the sheath. If you are interested, I'd probably sell this one for 20 I think it was uh, 35 new. You know what? I'd probably go down to 15 for this because um just of how uncomfortable it is and the uh, cosmetic damage the thing you got to remember is i'm saying there's cosmetic damage on every one of these i actually use my blades you know i use them all the time in videos so um there's going to be some cosmetic damage on every of them and i don't have every one of them and i don't have tools to like grind it off really if you do then that's better you could probably restore every one of these to almost perfect condition the blade anyway uh what have I yet to show? This is the uh, Musha Luna King Katana. This is another one that I've barely used. The edge is flawless, cuts very well. Uh, one of my better cutting videos I've, ha I've done with this one. Got some sweet cuts on the uh, Ganon Jugs. There's uh, pretty much just schmutz, kind of like caked onto the blade. If you have any kind of polishing equipment, probably even going at it at hand by hand would get rid of that. But uh, there's no actual rust or anything. The, 
the handguard is completely solid blade is very straight and good and I guess that's about it for this one pretty much a standard katana no fuller it's a pretty much a perfect budget blade this one new was 70 I, I'd go ahead and sell this for uh, 40 bucks Th 35 I do 35 all right um what else have we got here all right we're going over to the uh kind of shittier stuff now this is the Musashi Ninjato and many of you know that Ninjato aren't actually things but you know that's what it's called so that's what it is basically it's a uh, straight edged katana now this is I said it's shitty and I'm going to explain why it's shitty you hear that I tried what I could to fix that, but short of putting super glue in there, which is something that I don't want to do, there's really no fixing it. Um, maybe I could disassemble the whole thing and like hammer it on there, but I don't want to risk damaging it. There's already dents on the pommel here from when I tried hammering it on a little bit, but um, it didn't really help. There's also good chips in the blade. I don't know if you can, uh, if you could see them. But this is the one that I kind of drove into my stand a couple of videos ago. And, I mean, it will still cut. It is sharp. It is high carbon steel. It is full tang. The tip is also a little bit bent. Like, this thing's pretty much just a straight piece of shit. Uh, this is another one of those where if you just want a sword that I own, go ahead. Uh, 20 bucks, I guess. Because, like I said, it is high carbon steel and full tang. And it will cut. But it's not in good condition. It is not in good condition at all. Alright, moving further down the line. This is another one of those ones where I feel really bad selling it. This is possibly my second best katana. This is the Musashi uh, Damascus katana. And it is pretty fucking crazy good. The problem is lots and lots of cosmetic damage. There's little rust spots on it. Just stuff caked onto the blade. I'm going to put it closer to the camera and you see kind of how bad it is. Like that is not good at all. But it still has a perfect edge. Never had to sharpen it. Still cuts. Uh, probably the best out of all katanas I own. Even the uh, slightly fancier one. You can see in the uh, tatami video I did. It did an amazing job. Went right through. The uh, handguard is a tiny bit loose. Doesn't make... Yeah, you can hear that. But um, definitely not as bad as the uh, Ninjato. The sheath, just like all my old katanas. A little bit of uh, scratches and there's actually... A little cut here in the rope where I accidentally hit it one time because it was leaning on the side of my stand. So this when I got it, it was uh, 180 bucks. I'd go ahead and sell it for probably 40 I know it's like really messed up visually, but the thing is it's really good steel. And if it can be restored, it would be good as new. And I just, I, I can't bring myself to sell it for anything under that. Sorry about that cut. I reached the fucking 10 minute limit again. I keep forgetting about that every time I make a video. Anyway, the last one I have out here, and I very highly doubt that anyone's going to want to buy this. This is the first blade I have ever owned. It is a huge part of the history of my channel. It is fucking horribly disfigured, but it still cuts, which is why I have it out here. This was originally the Masahiro Shadow Warrior Katana. And first thing I'm going to mention, that the hilt is tape. Note that I didn't say the hilt is wrapped with tape. The hilt is tape, all the way to the dang. And that is still ridiculous, and I laugh at it every time I hold this. It is insanely messed up, but it's really solid. Like, there's also rope kind of weaving through here, going through the holes in the dang. And it is completely solid. I mean, it's not going anywhere. Blade is 1060 high carbon steel. Edge is still sharp as hell. There's uh, no big chips on the cutting edge. There's some like disfiguration right at the uh, right at the tip of the blade, but the main problem is just dirt and rust spots all over the blade. Like you can see all up and down there. If you have um, if you have any kind of equipment that can get rid of that, you might be able to restore it. But as it is now, blade definitely doesn't look too good. It cuts really well, however, and like I said, this is the first blade I ever owned. It is basically the very beginning of my channel, and I know that there are some people who kind of like my channel a crazy amount. Like, I'm not trying to brag, 
but like some of the emails I get, I'm, I'm messing with you. I love all you guys so much. But um, yeah, first blade I ever owned. History of my channel. If you're interested, I'm willing to sell this off for I guess uh, 30 bucks. It was I think 110 new, and it's still perfectly functional. Just so much cosmetic damage. This sheath is almost as messed up as the sword is. It's uh, got no rope there. What's that called? Uh, Sukumaki, I think. Yeah. And just dents and scratches going all up and down. It's, it's messed up. But it cuts. It's technically functional. And it is the origin of all of my videos. Which I know hopefully some of you will appreciate. So I do have some pretty much brand new weapons here. The uh, Tensa Zengetsu replica. The, uh, the Red Damascus Katana. And the Cold Steel Katana Machete. Those are all pretty much brand new. Tiny bit of cosmetic damage, but there's no actual structural damage to any of those. No chips or anything. They're completely fine. So if you're interested, uh, please email me at fatsardsman at gmail.com. That's the only way you'll be able to contact me to get this. I, like, I'm not going to sort through the uh, comments, and I barely ever read my YouTube PMs. So please email me, fatsardsman at gmail.com. It's uh, first come, first serve for each of these weapons. And I will mention that I'm not looking to sell off all of my katanas. Like, these are pretty much all of the katanas that I have, except for my really good one. I'm looking to sell maybe two or three, maybe four of these. And then I'll delete the video, and I'll be keeping the rest for me to continue using in new videos. So whichever ones sell first, those are the ones that go, and I'll keep what's left. Unfortunately, I can only ship these to the U.S. They're uh, large uh, objects, so shipping to other countries is going to get really expensive. So, another thing is that I don't want to have to worry about laws in other countries because I don't really know where I can or can't send these even if we were paying for shipping. So, if anybody's interested, I guess shoot me an email and hopefully I can get a few of these off my hands and get me some sweet, sweet money. Uh, payments will be done in PayPal. Uh, again, email address, fatsardsman.gmail.com. But, as, uh, of course, email me before you send anything through PayPal so I know who's getting what. And I guess that's about it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. End video.